Hey guys, just want to say before I start this video, thank you guys so much for 150k subs, man. It has been a journey. Thank you guys so, so much. Would have not been possible without you guys, and the journey going to still continue on. So I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here, coming back at y'all with another vid, man. That's right, and we got some Yeezys here because lately in 2022, what's been happening a lot lately, and we're going to get some more are, are some Yeezy re retro some re-releases on some iconic, dope colorways that we've been getting for some Yeezys. That's right, I want to talk about the way runners the uh, zebras and even the Oreos and we're supposed to be getting some other uh, colorways too as well that's gonna be re retro and supposedly turtle doves the red stripes red stripes are well so we're gonna be talking about these later on but yeah man they're gonna be they've been re-releasing and what's been kind of going on if you guys know especially especially easy it's not the first time like what have I always said and what I've always told you guys no Yeezys are safe. That's right. No Yeezys are safe. And you know what? We haven't done on this channel a video in a while is some hold and sells. Now, are these Yeezys a good hold? Is it a good sell? What do you guys think? Should you dump them now? You know, if you guys haven't noticed, every time when they re-retro some Yeezys, what happens to the resale price? They just kind of go down. And that is to be expected because you got to remember, you got to remember the reason why the Ore Oreos, or people are calling these the cores now, the reason why they were so expensive, I mean, I remember when these first, like recently, uh, before they re-released, these things were running like seven, 800, even a thousand at one point. They kind of went down to like five, 600. But they were pretty freaking high. Same with the zebras and the Wave runners, ah, the wave runners, they kind of re I feel like they re react all these things like once a year. Just the Oreo Oreos alone, they were really, really high. And of course, what happens when they re retro? They go down. I mean, just think about it. These things are probably around 300 to mid 300, depending on sizes. And if you guys look at the wave runners, a lot exp more expensive of a shoe. I mean, these things retail at 300. Hundred dollars, and if you, I want to talk about price for these, like even when they re retro last year, which was on the confirmed map, these things were probably about like what close to 400 or even mid 400 on some sizes. Obviously, they went down, they're around mid 300s, which is basically if you were to sell in these shoes on the apps, you're making you know some chump change, you know, especially after the fees and stuff like that. So, you're not making much at all. Same go with the, Z with the zebras, you know, especially this is an iconic colorway, one of the best colorway of 350 V2s, in my opinion. But we gotta just take some things in consideration about some Yeezys, all right? Yes, we gotta realize Yeezys are not what they used to be, they're not the highest Yeezy hype back in 2017 16. No, we're not there anymore, obviously. We'll probably never get to that point. It's gonna be curious to see what happens. Once they re-release the turtle doves, will they be a thousand? Will it be five hundred? Will they be a three hundred? Will they break out? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That's very curious to see. But I just want to talk about these shoes here right now. Are these a good shoe to hold? Even though I always tell you guys, no Yeezys are safe. But you guys gotta remember, this is a Yeezy. It's an iconic colorway to what everyone really likes. You know, a lot of people really love these colorways, especially the everyday people. You know. Um, even how many times have zebras have re-released? Like 10 times or five? No, I'm just joking. It's probably like four or five times, right? Each time they, they release. I swear, these things, uh, I feel bad for the people that actually bought these things at first, the first release, when these things were like at 15 to $2,000, and then, you know, the people trade like four or five pairs. You know, I feel bad for those people, because now they're like, what? Basically retail, right? But I just want to let you guys know, man, Yeezy still move, okay? Don't, no matter what people try to say, Yeezy still move. It's still great, you know, Yeezy's name still hold up to the everyday people or just to sneakers heads alone, especially to the new age people. Yeezy's are still holds a name, especially with these uh, great iconic colorways as re retro or should I say re-releasing. Either way, all right, I'm gonna just say this, you know, if history is to repeat itself, let's just take the zebras for example. Is it a good hold? I say it's a decent hold to where I would hang on to these things. If you got these things for either retail or can get them for pretty cheap, I have a feeling these things are gonna be do decently well. Go back a little history lesson on these zebras, okay? When these things finally released to like, you know, a GR amount to the public back in what? I think it was like 2018. They went from like $500, $600 all the way down to about retail what they're doing right now. 
280. Like I said, if you were to sell on the apps, you basically make your money back. And then about a year later in 2019, what they start to do, they kind of start to go up to around like the high 300s to even 400s. I mainly look at my size, which is a nine and a half. They stayed at 400. They re-released again in 2020 during the pandemic, which was a small release. Went back down to 290, 280. Again, start to creep back up. And they stayed up for a little bit. I mean, these things probably, like even from last year to this year, they are still around high 300s, mid 300s, even touching low 400s. Again, these things are at low two or high 200s, low 300s, depending on size. Depending on if these things re-release again, I still think it's gonna be a decent hold. If you are to hold in, you know, probably in the long run a little bit, just give it about a couple months. You know, if they, long as, like I said, if you're playing with fire when you hold with Yeezys, okay? Zebras is iconic colorway. If you can buy things at like 280 and you can talk someone down and even get a better deal, less than 280, oh my goodness, I will buy like, 20 pairs of, of zebras if, if I could do that. Um, I think these things are still gonna go up a little bit. I know Yeezy hype is not where it used to be, but zebras can, these things are still gonna go up to at least three mid 300s, like 350 and touching high 300s, maybe even 400s because it's a zebra. It happens all the time. No matter how many times they re-release and how many pairs are out there. People wear them, people, you know, especially with all white, they start to get beat up, start to get more rare out there. So they do start to go up. Even in late 2020s, this like in like late 2021, 20, uh, even after the stimmies, these things were touching like low 400s at 420 and some of them even touching mid 400s, 450, depending on sizes. And I'm not saying these things will go back to that, but they're still gonna do at least a decent amount of numbers. At least you can make $50 per pair if you buy them at, you know, at uh, 280, these things are at least gonna touch 350. At least 350, I think so. Depending on sizes. Now the thing about sizes, about 350s, just remember back then, a while, you know, 2018 and 20, 2020, right? The bay size was the money size. It's no longer like that no more. It's the big sizes now, okay? I uh, can't say the same about the waves. I'll get into those in a minute. Waves, it looks like bay size are doing a lot better. Going with the Oreos, could these things potentially go up? I think so. I think, you know, th these things are going low 300s, depending on sizes, of course. So it's basically all sizes are touching low 300s. They were at one point, like, even lower than that, I wanna say. Just remember, these shoes used to cost like $1,000 before this this release. But low 300s is what they're going for right now. I, you know, if you guys do hang on to these things, I think they can still do some good numbers. At least if you guys hang on to these things by Christmas, you know, these and these would be doing pretty good for Christmas time. Um, obviously we're over the tax season, so prices right now are basically markets is really low right now. So uh, if you guys can start to buy these things up at the low, like if you can guys get these things less than 300, which would be a killer deal. If you can guys get these things less than 300, I will, I will buy it all. But if you can get them at least 300, should be a decent amount of hold because I think these things will at least be worth 350, maybe even higher on depending on sizes. Uh, in, a, in a couple months from now, you know, these two, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna go for the iconic colorways if I do invest in Yeezys, and I gotta go for the newer colorways, maybe the dazzling blue just because it's similar to the old colorways, and it's that really nice looking blue to it, so it looks really good, but other than that, any Ye other Yeezys, I'm not gonna mess with except for these uh, OG colorways. And if you're lucky, if there's no more uh, re-retros or re-releases, and if you guys hang on these things even longer, these things could touch even high or like mid 400s. So that's at least 150 come up per pair. If you guys think about that, that's a pretty good come up. If you got like 10 pairs, like that's even better. So moving on to the way runners, this is a kind of different story. I'm not sure if people are trying to actually really hang on to these things just because they're already so expensive. Um, retail for 300, they're going for like 360, 350 for lowest ask. I already know people at shows are taxing 400 on these things. And I don't blame them because I, I think at the end of the day, if you guys did get these things for retail, especially new releases, Wave Runners, these things probably gonna go up to like 400 something, right? At least, right? Depending unless they re-release. Cause I have a feeling these things might re-release again next year. I wouldn't be surprised. Say what you want, man, Waves, they, they do some good numbers. Like they actually, no matter how many times these things released, I believe the Waze has re-retro way more than even the Zebras, right? If I'm not mistaken. I mean, I feel like every year we got a Wave Runner re-release. -re so with that being said, 
it is expensive to uh, kind of hold on these things because they retail for like three, you know, 300 plus tax, like 320. These things, re you know, resell for like, you know, mid 300s, high 300s, even touch of 400s. Is it really worth it if you try and buy these things up? You know, I was buying pairs. If I could get a good uh, price on it, just because I think these things could at least touch 400 or you know mid 400s and that's to me it's a quick flip on the wave runners you know i don't plan to hold on to wave runners very long matter of fact i kind of really scared to hold on wave runners because i feel like they're just going to re-release i mean matter of fact yeezy can re-release wave runners during the holly season that could be <laughs> they really could if they really wanted to so just be aware of wave runners it's still a decent hold long as they don't re-release because you know it's an iconic colorway people really love these things people pay whatever and even the bay sizes are doing very well on on the wave runners so i feel like it's like 2017 again bay size on wave runners are doing better on men's sizes so Look, I'll just end it like this, man. I think all three of these colorways are gonna do pretty well as a, as a good hold, especially these two here. These are probably the best holds, especially, and this is probably the cheapest. Uh, like I said, this one's a little bit expensive, so if you don't have capital, don't listen. Make your quick flip, move on. You know, make your money. Uh, Oreos, again, another great hold. I just think the Zebras is a better investment or a better hold because it's a little bit cheaper. And if history repeats itself, you guys already know Zebras do great numbers. So we're coming out, they're gonna be coming out with a lot more re-retro on some Ye on Yeezys, man. So it kind of all depends what happens, you know? If they keep re retro on all these Ye Yeezys, they might forget about the Zebras or the Oreos. But I still just think, you know, iconic colorway, these things just can't be ignored, you know? Maybe some other ones like Blue Tints and stuff like that, that might not, you know, Blue Tints and Belugas, the, the new ones, those might not be a good hold anymore. Just because they we're getting some you know these uh better colorways from most people really like so so if i if you were to hang on to these things or you got them for retail and you got a couple pairs hang on to the zebras man because if you guys were to sell on the apps you're basically making not that much so um that's just what i'm gonna say guys and like i said this is just all my opinion guys about these things and uh, obviously if they are to re-release these things and re-retro throw everything what i said out the window because then it doesn't matter you know and it doesn't matter and you just never know what kanye and yeezy plan on doing really you really don't you know these things could re all they can re-release all these things on yeezy day or on christmas or holiday season or next week you just never know about yeezy so when you do plan on holding on yeezys you're playing with fire so i'm gonna say guys so like i said man i'm not a, just remember guys this is all my opinion guys i just based on my experience i'm not a sneaker guru or anything like that i know and pretend like i know everything get some things right and i get some things wrong you know it just kind of happens guys i just do my best all right guys anyway guys i love y'all i appreciate y'all uh thank you guys for the 150k subs I will see you guys in Miami this weekend at the Sneaker Swap 365. It's going to be a good time, man. Anyways, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.